Hey, welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how to model the 4th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver in Fusion 360. Uh, so first we're going to insert a canvas onto a plane so we can use it as a sketch reference. And now once we put it in here we can go to Calibrate and select the two points of distance that we know this to be. And I'm going off of a uh, prop that I found online, so I'm just going to use, use this reference. And once I calibrate it, I'm now drawing a line down the center of it, and now drawing out the features here. So just zooming in and uh, tracing out all these details into the, uh, the sketch. And now that we have that finished, I'm just going to add some more uh, small details here to these little cutouts. So I'm first drawing some rectangles of the depth on the inside, and now I'm going to draw another rectangle and use the pattern tool to uh, select these edges that I want to repeat and just move that up as far as I want to go. And we're just kind of eyeballing it here. And once I have that done, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up this uh, sketch geometry. Uh, you don't have to do this, but it just makes it a little bit easier selecting um, the elements for revolving. So once we have that cleaned up, we're just going to stop sketch and go to create and revolve and select that profile and then select the middle line as the revolving uh, axle. And I wasn't really too happy with how that turned out, so it was a little too thin in spots. So now I'm just going back into that sketch and doing an offset uh, of the distance that I think will make it look a little bit better. Uh, so once I have that done, I can go ahead and clean up that geometry, close the top, and uh, it'll automatically update. So I am going off of an existing piece of aluminum that I have, um, but you can make this thread size any size you want. But uh, I'm just going and drawing the uh, diameter of the thread that I want to do and create thread. And like I said, this matches something that I currently have. I'm turning this out of aluminum, but for 3D printing, you could make this whatever size you want. So now I need to draw the top portion of it. So I'm doing a plane through a, uh, axes through a cylinder. And now I can select that. Uh, that line that we did and choose plane at angle to get a 90 degree to the inside of that cylinder. So now I just turn this uh, canvas back on so we can kind of get an idea of what we need to draw. And first I'm going to be drawing the thread onto the inside of this and just matching that size, uh, dividing it by two to get my uh, diameter once it's been revolved. And drawing them some things out and doing a two-point circle to get the uh, that little dome piece at the top the way I like it. And now drawing a line to split it in half. And just cleaning up all this extra stuff that we don't need. And adding a little uh, extra tip coming off the top that, you, that we'll, we'll be using later. And now we can go ahead and revolve that one more time. And select the center axes again. And we want to do new body. Make sure you don't do join or it'll join to that existing thing. And now I'm just creating another thread matching the thread that I did on the uh, base part. And you want to check fully modeled so when you 3D print it, it uh, actually has the threading. Um, so now what I'm going to do is create the uh, top circular um, cylinder portion. So I'm just drawing, doing another uh, two-point circle and just kind of eyeballing what I think is a good size and now doing an offset of that to give me some thickness. And now that we have that done we can stop our sketch and look at it from the side and we're going to do an extrude that's symmetrical and just kind of eyeballing what I think is a good width for this. And this we want to actually make join, so it'll join that cylinder that we, that little uh, dome that we drew earlier. And now I'm just going to add some fillets to this to make it a little bit um, not so sharp. And now I'm also going to add a fillet down below. That's going to make this part a lot stronger. 
uh, so it doesn't split when we're trying to thread it onto our part. Okay, now that we have that done, we're going to create an offset plane. Or what we're going to do a plane at an angle with that existing angle that we created before, so it's 90 degrees to that. And we're going to go ahead and create a sketch on that plane now. And if we project our geometry, we can get directly in the center of that cylinder that we did. And now do a um, arc to make the pointed uh, tip that kind of looks like a, an ear doctor's uh, uh, thing they check their ears with, whatever that's called. So just cleaning up some of that extra stuff that I don't need. Uh, moving this in a little bit, it looked a little too, too far out. So uh, hit stop sketch. And now we're going to create a revolve again, selecting that um, profile we created and the axis to that center line. And now we can just hit OK and have that new piece. And just adding some small details here, I'm going to create a sketch on this back plane and uh, project the geometry so I can find the center and do an offset and now draw a center rectangle. And these are things we're going to be using to do an extrude cut. So we'll just put that in there, clean it up, and we can stop sketch and select those pieces that we want to use to cut out the body we just created. So we're going to extrude it inwards, making sure cut is the operation, and getting your depth right and hitting OK. And now what we're going to do is do an offset plane off the face of the body, and we're going to use this to put the three spokes on the inside that holds that middle piece to the cylinder. So we're going to go ahead and do a sketch on this plane here, and draw the spoke that we think is a, a good size, which four millimeters looks about right, and extrude it upwards to that body that we created, making sure join is selected. And hit. Now we're going to add some fillets to make this a little bit stronger and look a little bit more accurate to the model. And do one on the bottom and then also one on the top. And now to do those, to repeat those, we're going to go to circular pattern and we're going to change that to features and select that extrusion and the two fillets that we created. And then for the axes, we want to select the cylinder, cylinder in the middle three for the quantity and that will automatically put three around that and join it all together. Um, so that's it. It's pretty simple and uh, just adding some uh, appearance to this, some materials to do some renderings and um, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you try modeling this yourself. If not, uh, there, as always there's a link below where you can download this and print it yourself. And actually I am going to be um, turning the base on out of aluminum and I'm gonna post a video on that too and I'll leave a link to it below here's a quick uh, preview of what what that's gonna look like so hopefully you check out that video as well and I hope you learned something watching this and uh, if you don't want to design it yourself uh, check out the link below and you can download that model for free uh, so thank you again for watching and make sure you like share and subscribe and we'll see you later all right bye